the Storis McBride with HVAC Tutor, and I have a little uh, setup here that will allow me to explain some concepts I've noticed people are having a difficult time understanding. The evaporator is the part of uh, air conditioner or refrigerator, uh, refrigeration system where uh, heat is absorbed. We need the compressor to remove vapor from the evaporator to also remove heat from the evaporator. We're going to drop the pressure below atmospheric pressure, which is also going to drop the boiling point of the water. At a certain point, the boiling point of the water will be lower than the current temperature of the water, which is currently 95. So our pressure is going down 20 inches. Now it actually starts to slow down. It started very, very quickly. But now since there is less vapor on the inside of our vessel, the evacuation of air starts to slow down. Oh, there we go. There we go. We can really see the formation of bubbles inside of our water. It's clouding up. We are producing steam. We drop the pressure below atmospheric pressure. So we're currently holding at 29 inches vacuum, which lowered the boiling point of the water inside of the vessel. The heat inside of the water is actually being used to boil a small percentage of the water. Normally inside of an evaporator, we don't want the refrigerant, in this case our water, to boil itself. We want it to absorb heat from the outside of the evaporator. I'm going to turn off my vacuum pump. In your uh, refrigerator or air conditioner at home, you have a little knob. And when you turn that knob, essentially what you're doing is you are selecting the pressure that you want to exist inside of that evaporator. The, the most important principle that we need to understand about air conditioning, refrigeration, any form of, a, a, of HVAC is that the pressure that is exerted on the fluids in the system is going to determine the temperature at which it changes state. Uh, this valve over here is called a vacuum breaker. And the purpose of this uh, vacuum breaker I would not be able to yank this lid off of this vessel right now because the vacuum is so deep. So if I wanted to remove the lid, I would need to uh, allow air to enter into the vessel. Currently, the pressure in this vessel is below atmospheric pressure, while the pressure of the air on the outside is above atmospheric pressure. So when I open up this valve, I am not actually sucking air in. What is happening is the air is going to force its way in. And we refer to that as pressure differential. Wherever you have a fluid at a higher pressure, it, tr it wants to travel to a location where the pressure is lower. So once I open this valve, that's what's gonna happen. The air is gonna force its way in. I'm actually gonna put the mic over here when I open this up so we can hear that whoosh sound. So we learned a little bit about uh, how we control temperature inside of our refrigeration system. We do so by controlling pressure. The device that we use in most refrigeration systems is called a compressor. The area where we are absorbing heat, trying to cool something off, that is usually called our evaporator. And when it comes to measuring pressure inside of our systems in the United States, we either use PSI or we use inches of mercury. So right here we're using inches of mercury vacuum. And in the future, I'm going to explain all of these different terms and we're going to break it all down and we're going to do cool experiments like this to allow you to really uh, get a visual impression in your mind of how this stuff works, as opposed to just looking at words on a page that you never really connect with and never really understand. So that's it for me, Taurus McBride, HVAC Tutor. Uh, I hope you all learned something uh, and I'll see you guys later.